All right, I'm going to look at uh, adding fractions with mixed numbers and denominators that are not alike. Uh, two of the questions, you, you had mentioned 10 and 15. Uh, I think you just went to 14. So I'm going to do number 10, and I'll do number 14. Okay. Um, the first thing you need to do, no matter what, is you absolutely have to get common denominators. Um, when you're... When you're combining things together, when you're adding or subtracting, you need that label to match. Three inches and seven inches. These three sixths and seven, you need this to be the same label so we can combine them together. You could use 60. You could do six times 10 and you could do 10 times six and that would be fine. Uh, you could use 30. 30 would be another common denominator. 6 times 5 and 10 times uh, 3. There's one other one, but I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to leave that one and not say it. I'm going to use 30, and I don't have another mark or another color in front of me, but um, so I, I want this to be 30ths and 30ths. That way uh, they're, they're in common, they match. To do that, I'm going to do 6 times 5 is 30, and 10 times 3 is 30. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do the same thing to the numerator. I'm really multiplying this by three-thirds, so that's one whole, which is why it doesn't change the, the answer, it just changes how it looks. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 5 is 15. I left the whole numbers there, and then I'm going to get common denominators. There's a couple ways you can mess with this. Um, I, what I'm going to recommend, uh, just to be as clear as possible and as uh, straightforward as possible, if you have a mixed number, I'm going to recommend you make it into an improper fraction. So I'm going to do 30 times 7, which is 210, plus 15, which is 225. When you change a, a mixed number to an improper fraction, denominator times the whole number plus the numerator. You don't change the denominator, that doesn't change. 30 goes into 225 seven times with 15 left over. Similarly, 30 times four is 120, plus 21 is gonna be 141. I have common denominators, I can add the numerators together, and I get, what is that, 366? Now, uh, you could change that back to a mixed number. You don't have to. You can leave it improper for me. Uh, but you do need to reduce. So we, we can reduce this. We can simplify. Uh, I think we can divide them both by 6. Yeah. Yep. We can divide them both by 6. You could divide them both by 3. You could divide them both by 2. Um, but I'm going to divide them both by 6 because that will get me to the answer faster. The way I'm going to do this in my head 36 divided by 6 is 6, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So 36 and 6, 366 divided by 6 is 61. 30 divided by 6 is 5. We are right. 61 fifths. You could, again, simplify this into a mixed number if you wanted. I'm okay with that. If you want to do that, what would that be? It would be... Um, 12 and 1 fifth, I think. Yeah, that seems right. So either of these are correct, um, but that's how we get that answer. Looking at this one, so before I got common denominators first, this time I'm going to change it to an, an improper fraction first. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 11 times 6 is 66, plus 1 is 67 elevenths. Um, this isn't any better or worse. It's the same number of, the same amount of work. Um, I'm still going to have to get common denominators. I'm still changing it to an improper fraction. I'm just doing it a different way, and you can decide which way you like better. I need a common denominator. I think the lowest common denominator, the, the least common de uh, denominator between these two uh, would be 44. So I'm going to do 4 times 11, and I'm going to do 11 times 4, 
You can always, always get a common denominator by multiplying the two denominators by themselves, by each other. But that isn't always the lowest common denominator, but it always works. Uh, whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do the same thing to the numerator. 13 times 11 is 143. And 67 times 4, 268. Oh, yeah, it's early. I'm going to grab the calculator. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to do 67 times 4, 268. Okay. I'm adding these together. When you're adding or subtracting, the denominator doesn't change. 143 cookies plus 268 cookies equals some number of cookies. Uh, the label itself doesn't change when you add things together. So when I add the numerators, I get 411 44 fourths. 411 cookies, 411 whatever. Um, ooh, they're not both even, so I don't think I can simplify by 2. Uh, you can't divide 44 by 3 or 9, 5, 10. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that is that's simplified. Uh, again, you could change this to an improper, for, or excuse me, a mixed number. 44 goes into 411 nine times. And what would we have left over? Uh, uh, 15. 15 44ths left over which, again, cannot be simplified. Hopefully that helps uh, in terms of getting those common denominators, changing to improper fractions, and then finding the answer from there. If you have any questions or any follow-up, there are other ways. I mentioned that there were a couple things here that I just didn't do. There are multiple ways to do the problem. If you have a different way that you prefer and you want to know if it will always work, please let me know and I'll, I'll help you.